Hello everyone, welcome back to another JBL teardown. In today's teardown, we have the new JBL Charge 6. With several upgrades over the Charge 5, these enhancements bring some exciting improvements. So join me as we tear down and explore everything the JBL Charge 6 has to offer. The first step in the teardown is to remove this detachable carry strap. Made from a flexible material and durable fabric, this strap enhances portability, making the speaker even easier and more convenient to carry than before. Next, we'll need to pry off the speaker grill. While its design closely resembled that of the Charge 5, there's a few notable improvements. The base is now wider for better stability, and instead of 10 small silicone strips, which often peel off over time, JBL has opted for two larger strips for enhanced durability. Next, we'll remove the two strap loops by unscrewing two screws. The assembly consists of two separate parts, the loops itself, which appears to be made of aluminum, and a second piece constructed of hard plastic. Next, we'll remove four screws to detach the battery cover. This cover includes a rubber seal, providing an airtight fit that enhances protection and helps maintain the speaker IP68 rating. With the battery cover removed, we can now unplug and take out the battery. This lithium ion battery operates at 7.2 volts with a capacity of 4722 mAh. It fully charged in just 3 hours, providing up to 28 hours of playtime, with 4 hours coming from using the Playtime Boost feature. Additionally, a quick 10 minute charge offers up to 150 minutes of playback. Next, to access the charging board, we'll need to remove two screws to take off the plastic cover. Once the cover is removed, we can pull out the charging board and disconnect it. This board features a USB-C input and output, enabling fast charging for the speaker and also function as a power bank allowing you to charge your mobile devices. Next we can examine the control boards by pulling off the silicone button cover. Right away, there's a notable difference between the Charge 6 button layout and that of the Charge 5. Here we have two boards connected by ribbon cable, housing the main buttons and LED lights for the Charge 6. Since they are glued onto the enclosure, I'll leave them in place to avoid any potential damage. Next, we'll remove the battery indicator by unscrewing two screws. Once detached, the single LED enclosure can be pried open to access the LED board, which contains six indicator lights. Next, we'll remove the woofer by unscrewing four screws. This woofer measures 53 mm and is rated at 30 watts, offering a slight power boost compared to the Charge 5. It's designed to deliver deep, powerful bass with enhanced clarity even at maximum volume.
Next, we'll remove the tweeter by unscrewing two screws and pulling it out. The tweeter measures 20mm and is rated at 10 watts RMS. It enhances higher frequency, delivering crisp and clear sound with improved precision. This refinement adapts to the overall audio experience, complementing the powerful bass from the woofer to create a more imbalanced and immersive listening experience. Next, we can pry off the passive radiators. JBL has redesigned these with a more robust rubber structure, featuring four bumpers instead of three that is found on the Charge 5. This enhancement improves durability, making the speaker drop proof from heights of up to 1 meter. Beyond durability, these pass radiator comes in two parts, the radiator itself and its supporting structure, which works together to enhance the bass, delivering deeper and more pronounced low frequency for a richer audio experience. To remove the motherboard, we will need to unscrew two screws and disconnect several cable connections. Here we have the motherboard, featuring Bluetooth 5.4 and JBL Pro Sound with AI Sound Boost. With AI Sound Boost, it optimizes music in real time for better performance and less distortion. Additionally, it supports AuraCast, allowing you to easily stereo pair to Charge 6 for the wider soundstage or link multiple JBL speakers to keep the same playlist going on across a bigger area. And that wraps up the teardown of the JBL Charge 6. If you're new to the channel and enjoy this type of content, don't forget to subscribe because there will be plenty more speaker teardown coming your way in future videos. Thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next one.